The 2017 edition of the International Show of Agriculture, Agricultural Machinery and Fishing, Siamap opened at El Kram Exhibition Center in Tunisia. The latest farming innovations and techniques were exhibited by local and foreign firms. The technology has revolutionized agriculture in the world. The state and the private sector must invest in the latest machinery and scientific research. This is how we can guarantee self-sufficiency. Over 500 Tunisian and foreign companies from 36 countries of Africa, Europe, Asia and Americas are participating in this edition. Exhibitors assert that the African continent has a promising future and huge development potential. Our company exports to Burkina Faso, Mali, Côte d'Ivoire, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea-Conakry, Senegal, Cameroon and Togo. Only this week, we've signed a 600 million euro contract with Djibouti. We plan to develop the business. The future is in Africa. 75% of agriculture farms in Tunisia are split over very small lands, which represent less than 10 hectares. Farmers suffer from a weak infrastructure. This year, the government has promised to provide financial subsidies and to help young farmers and animal breeders. Young graduates and unemployed people are not tempted to become farmers. It's a very hard job. However, the government's initiative will contribute to the development of the sector. Over 200,000 Tunisian and foreign visitors and professionals have attended the 2017 Siamap exhibition. The annual event remains one of the most attractive fairs to families and children. Agriculture is Tunisia's second source of income after tourism. The potential of this vital sector is still underestimated. Experts say the country's economic recovery is possible after six years of uncertainty and instability. However, the authorities must push the development of agriculture at the top of the North African nation's agenda. Adin Shoeshi, CGTN, Tunis.